I mean, if people can use a bra insert to apply makeup, then I can use a stress ball. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my bathroom. If you're new here, my name is Angela. I would love for you to subscribe. So click that subscribe button right now. Or don't. Do you? So today I have no face makeup on because um, I wanted to try something. So you know, if you watch beauty videos, you know that everyone's trying to apply makeup with this new silly sponge, which like imitates a bra insert. So everyone's going around like taking their bra inserts out and trying to apply makeup with them. So I was like, you know what? If you can use that to apply makeup, then you can use anything to apply makeup, really. So I thought it resembled a kind of, um, what is this called? A stress ball. So I went to the store and I'm like, you know what? I can, I could probably apply makeup with a stress ball. Let's test this out. Let's see how it goes. So I picked this up because it's Valentine's Day soon. I thought I'd get in the Valentine's Day spirit. It's just a little heart. And it is a uh, stress ball, right? Yeah, I'm gonna test this out and see if it actually applies makeup. Because if this works and a bra insert works, then who needs to pay $25 for a beauty blender? Am I right? But let's just get into it. So I did like disinfect this because I didn't know like who's been touching it. So I just put some like alcohol on it and washed it. So it's all good, sterilized. I'm just gonna use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation like I always do. And I'm just gonna put a couple drops of this onto the beautiful heart. Ooh. I'm actually regretting this a little bit. putting the makeup on and I'm not wasting any like because the the product doesn't absorb into the the heart I don't know if you can see that but like it's kind of splotchy it's because like the stress ball is very dense so every time I press down, it's kind of making like circles. And because it's like so rounded, I can't get like into the crevices. But like it makes a really big difference that like it doesn't absorb any product. Like I used like the entire, like two drops on like my entire face. But I still feel like I want to go in with my beauty blender and just clean it up. Kind of take that back because it's squishy, I can like squish it into the crevices and it gets there. What does my life come to? All right, now that that is somewhat blended, I'm going to try to do under eye concealer. <laughs> and I'm gonna use the like pointed part of the heart cause like I feel like it would fit under there. I don't know, using Tarte Rainforest to the sea again. Honestly, do I use anything else? This is definitely too fat to get like precisely under my eye. But like it's blending everything out. I'm not that disappointed. I thought this was gonna be a complete disaster. 
Well, it kind of is, but like more than this. And because it doesn't really like, it's like using absolutely all the product that I put on my face. Like it's not absorbing any, like my face looks super caked. Like, there's a lot of foundation and concealer on my face. Like maybe it's a good thing that like sponges actually absorb some of the makeup. Yeah, like right here, like I can't get in there. That's like a complete fail. But like maybe it's just the shape. Cause like if you use a differently shaped stress ball, I don't know. Stress balls are usually oval and that would be even more difficult cause it doesn't have a point. So I don't really know where I was going with this, but like maybe if you find a baby stress ball, then you'd be able to get everywhere because the actual like consistency of the plastic is like blending like it's blending my makeup it's just like hard to get into the crevices all right so that's the concealer job i'm gonna try i'm gonna try powder i'm gonna try and set this makeup see that see my little alpaca just chilling okay let's stop being a freak and do the powder okay i'm just going to take my laura mercier setting powder It kind of was, took some out. It's staying on there. Ooh. This is like, this is making me very nervous for some reason. Maybe because I have to go out after this and if my makeup looks like balls, then everyone's gonna see it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but it's very clumpy. Like it's not even powder anymore. It's like condensed clump. Maybe when I take it off with a brush, it'll uh, all be good. It's, it's working a little bit. I mean, like, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. I'm balancing so many things on my legs right now, like, a lot of palettes are gonna break if I move too suddenly. So I'm just gonna take my brush and dust these clumps off. So I'm just gonna quickly put the rest of the stuff that I put on my face on and uh, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And my makeup doesn't look that bad. Once everything is on, like, you can't tell you applied things with a stress ball. You know? I also just rinsed it too. Like all I did was put some hand soap on it and like everything instantly came off. So it's very easy to clean. I got this from the dollar store by the way, for a dollar. Beauty blender, $25. Stress ball, $1. I don't know. I think moral of the story here is that you can apply makeup with absolutely anything. So why go out and spend $25 on a sponge? Why don't you just use a kitchen sponge? Maybe I should make a video about that. They're like also a dollar at the dollar store for like a pack of 10. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. So yeah, I say this was a success. If you ended up watching the video this far, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.